We will begin outlining the current problems with wastewater treatment and algal biofuel production. Some 4% of the nation's electricity use goes towards moving and treating wastewater. Approximately 80% of municipal water processing and distribution costs are for electricity. Nationwide, wastewater treatment represents 0.1 to 0.3% of total energy consumption, and within local city and community government, water and wastewater treatment operations are often the largest consumer of energy. Current algal biofuels tend to use high lipid algae to produce biodiesel. However, high lipid algae has a slower growth rate and thus a higher chance of getting contaminated. Also, a key step of the extraction process is the dewatering of the biomass, which can be a very energy intensive process. These hurdles have to be addressed in order for algae to be the fuel of the future. Our solution is combining wastewater treatment with algae biofuel production, a process we called environment enhancing energy, or E squared energy. Wastewater biosolids are first converted into biocrude oil via hydrothermal liquefaction, or HTL. In HTL, biosolids are superheated under pressure, similar to how petroleum is created over millions of years. Then algae is cultivated with wastewater liquids from the wastewater plant and post-HTL wastewater. After sufficient algae growth is achieved, the algae biomass is separated and fed back to HTL. The water treated by this operation is safe enough to release to the environment. The biocrude produced makes this an energy positive process. We have an on-campus project to demonstrate that E-squared energy works. It is located in the UIUC Swine Research Center. This center produces more than 10,000 gallons of wastewater each day. This wastewater goes to a lagoon that is adjacent to the center. The wastewater in the lagoon is then sent to the wastewater plant, costing the center $20,000 annually. This is how our system works. First, water from the lagoon is pumped into storage tanks. Water in the storage tanks is then pumped into the first algae wheel tank. In the algae wheel tank, algae is cultivated on multiple wheels which contain aerobic bacteria. This creates a symbiotic system where the algae is performing photosynthesis and the bacteria is respiring. There is more carbon in the first tank, causing more bacteria than algae to be produced in it. As algae biomass increases, it falls off the wheel and is collected in the clarifier. The clarifier then separates the biomass and circulates the remaining wastewater to the second algae wheel tank. Here, there is more nitrogen in the system, so algae dominates the tank. Finally, the treated water is run through a screen to collect biomass for HTL. Here is our HTL facility. Collected biomass is sent here to be converted into biocrude oil. The advantage of HTL is that it can process biomass without dewatering. The input-output energy ratio of HTL is 1 to 3, which is an energy positive process. The characteristics of the biocrude oil produced are very similar to petroleum crude oil. Therefore, we could burn it directly or further refine it. As we have shown, E-squared energy can make the very energy-intensive process of wastewater treatment energy positive by using algae to treat the wastewater and using HTL to produce biocrude oil. HTL also addresses the bottlenecks of algae production by avoiding dewatering. If scaled up, this technology could be a huge part of crude oil production in the future.